friends, I'm Jess. Welcome to the Hex Library, where today we'll be doing my TBR takedown for the month of February. If you are new here, the TBR takedown is a game that I've been playing trying to get my physical TBR down from a very high number down to something more manageable. And this year I've changed up the game a little bit. Uh, if you want to know like the full details of that, you can check out last month's TBR takedown video. But basically I have a chart of where I need to be at for the physical TBR and I'm only counting books prior to January 1 of this year. So it's basically my backlist TBR that I'm working on this year. I started out the year with 72 books on my physical TBR shelf and by the end of February I needed to be at 68. Typically during this we would go through the books that I hauled just to have those available um, for the information part of it. However, I once again hauled a large number of books so there is a separate haul video that you can check out. I have linked down below. So today we'll just be going through the books that I read and I'll be telling you which came off of my backlist TBR, which came off of my current TBR because I've been buying books this year so some of them are coming off of what I'm calling the current TBR and then some that I've read don't come off of anything because they're just books that I borrowed and read. I will also be adding something to the TBR takedown because I feel like maybe I made it too easy for myself and I want to make it a little more difficult so it's more of a fun game. Basically I'm having to read like four or five books a month uh, and I read 21 books last month. Yeah I feel like I'm maybe making it too easy on myself so I am adding an element that we'll get to at the end um, that will maybe spice things up a little bit. I've also decided uh, to while we're doing this keep track of the current TBR so we know how far out of handle that's getting. So at the end of last month, at the end of January, I would have had 22 books on the current TBR. So above you will have numbers for the backlist TBR, our goal for the backlist TBR, and then our current TBR. Those may be in reverse order, but they're up there. Current TBR, which is books purchased in 2023, backlist TBR, which is the one that we're trying to get down, and then the goal. Maybe I'll do two up here and one down below. Backlist and goal up top and current down below so that you know that it's separate. Either way, there's numbers on the screen. Okay. And at the end of January, we had 22 on the current TBR, 72 on the backlist TBR. Our goal for this month for the backlist TBR is 68. I wasn't tracking the current TBR as I was going through this month, so I don't know what the number is going to be at the end. We'll all find out together. Um, I'll find out during editing. You'll find out during watching, but I won't know. So anyway, let us move on. Also, because I already did a haul video, you already know what I hauled, and the haul would add a total of, my haul would add 13 to 22, which would be 35. So we're starting out February's current TBR with 35. Okay, let's get into it. As always, I'll just be going through these in the order that I read them. Um, if I am struggling, it's because I currently don't have internet for some reason, and so I'm having to um, read notes off of my phone. So, yay for me. The first book is Ashes to Ashes by Jenny Han and Siobhan Vivian, and this will have come off of the Backlist TBR. We then have Hope of Elantris, which is part of a book that I own. I own the Arcanum Unbounded, which has all of those in it. However, because I haven't actually finished the book, it doesn't come off of anything. I then read When I Sing Mountains Dance by Irene Sola, and that does not come off of anything because I read that via audio. We then have Holes by Louis Sacker that comes off of the current TBR. Also coming off of the current TBR is The Screaming Staircase, the first book in the Lockwood & Co series, and that is by Jonathan Stroud. Next off of the current TBR is That Time I Got Drunk and Saved a Demon by Kimberly Lemming. We then have Mitosis, also by Brandon Sanderson, and I do not own a physical copy of that, so it does not come off of anything. We then have So Sweet Little Lies by Kaz Freer, which comes off of my backlist TBR. I then have three coming off of the backlist TBR, and that is this trilogy, uh, Arrows of the Queen, Arrows Flight, and Arrows Fall, and these are by Mercedes Lackey. From the current TBR, we have Make-A-Wish by Helena Hunting. 
from the current TBR. That's how I got drunk and needed a love potion at a werewolf by Kimberly Fleming, which was the sequel to that time I got drunk and saved a demon. I then did a beta read for my friend Laura Nettles, who is also an author tuber, and I will link her in the description box down below. I counted that as per part of my book total and then did like an average page count um, based off of what a, a mid-grade novel typically is, or I may have done the number in the Word document. I don't remember, uh, but I counted it and I reported it on Goodreads as like one of the Creepover series novels because they were about the same uh, word wise. I did that and that doesn't come off of anything because that was a beta read. And then everything else I read in February comes off of my current TBR. So I really, really did a good job of reading my TBR this month. So we have 56 Days by Katherine Ryan Howard, The Carol Haunt by Darcy Coates, Nine Liars by Maureen Johnson. This is part of the Truly Devious series. The Twisted Dead by Darcy Coates. This is the third book in the Gravekeeper series. Not Your Ex's Hexes by April Asher, which is the second book in the Supernatural Singles series. Delicious Monsters by Lizelle Sanberry, which Lizelle is a fellow author tuber. And I also have a full vlog video of me reading this and I will link that down below for you. And the final book that I read in February was Daisy Darker by Alice Feeney. So that was it. That was the... 21-ish books that I read in February. That's a lot for a 28-day month. I did read um, one short story and one novella, um, one mid-grade, and then everything else was like a full-ass length novel. I guess the Kimberly Lemmings were also sort of novella length, but still. I read a lot of books in February and I read a lot of books that I already own, which is fantastic. I'm loving it. Like I bought a lot of books this year so far, but I've probably read half of them. Um, you'll know what the numbers are down below. I don't know what they are because I, I didn't prepare to do that before I started filming this. So it was just a thing that I came up with on the fly. Speaking of things on the fly, a new thing that I came up with because if you were keeping track, and why would you, because the numbers are up here, I my goal was 68 books on my physical TBR and I got us down to 67. I read an extra book. Go me. So I crushed it again this month and I crushed it last month and I was like, you know, it's just too easy. It's too easy. We need to do something else. So basically what we're doing is if I don't get to the goal number, I have to unhaul until I get there. And so far that hasn't been a problem. Will it be a problem in the future? Maybe, but I'm going to add another element because I can't. I have this jar um, that I got from Alcrate. Let a Alcrate Apothecary decide your fictional fate. Um, here's reader's block. Take one when experiencing literary indecisiveness. And what I did was I filled this with a bunch of shrimp. They're shrimps. Whoop, you can't see the shrimps. Um, I filled this with shrimpies that were mailed to me from Kevin because I always think it's funny when we do gift exchanges for author tube, secret sand and all that fun stuff. Um, you know, they always ask if you have any allergies and I always say I'm allergic to shellfish but who's gonna mail me shellfish in the mail that would be weird. Kevin sent me a bunch of shrimpies that was the packing packaging in my package the stuff to keep things safe was little cut up shrimps uh, and I was like what am I gonna do with all these shrimps so I made a TBR jar out of these shrimps. However I did this at the end of 2021 um, so a lot of these I've probably already read. I don't know what we're going to get, but I'm going to pull one from this jar and cause right now I've been mood reading my backlist TBR. Um, so what I'm going to add to that is whatever book I pull from here, which if I pull one and it's one I've already read, I can just throw it away and we'll pull a different one. Um, but whatever I pull from here, and I don't know if I wrote subsequent books in series or if I just wrote the first book of series, if it's like, you know, the third book in a series and I haven't started it yet, I'll read the first book instead of the third one. But um, whatever book I pull from here, I have to read in the month or unhaul it. So it's like an additional book. It doesn't count. It will count toward the number coming off. So it still counts towards going to my goal, um, but it's not mood reading, which is what I like to do. So, and some of these books, actually a lot of these books, I have video plans for, like specific video plans. Um, so if I pulled the book, before my video plans are going to be attempted, that means I'm gonna to have to move up my video plans, which makes it even more difficult. So yeah, I've, I've, I've added a level of difficulty. So let's, 
see what we get. I pulled these out last night and because there's not a lot of room for them to shake around in there. So I pulled them out last night and like threw them on the table a couple times and like threw them back in just to like really get, you know, a sense of, of shuffleage. I probably either unhauled or read a lot of these. So we're just gonna see what we get on our first try and go from there. I think I want this one. Uh, the Two Towers. <laughs> That's so rude. I hate you. I don't want to read Lord of the Rings. <sighs> Fine. I guess. I don't want to. <laughs> this is like a visceral reaction. I'm like, I don't want to. Oh, God. I don't wanna, I'm actually, I actually have tears right now. That, that hurt me. That hurt in my soul. Um, I guess I could show it to you. On oh, my little shrimp. Yeah, so I guess we're gonna read Lord of the Rings. I don't want to. Uh, mostly cause I didn't love the first book. I like the plot. I just think it's very meandering. It should have been like 200 pages less than it was. I have a lot of thoughts. I have a lot of thoughts. Um, I kind of ranted about my review on it as well. I'll link my review um, on Goodreads down below so you can see my full thoughts if you'd like to know how much I, you know, had to say about the first book. Uh, um, but at least the second book we get Eowyn, which is a bright spot in the story for me. So I can, I can get behind that, but I did not want to do that in March. I just shot myself in the foot essentially because now I have to read it or unhaul it and I don't want to unhaul it so now I have to read it and that um that's not that's not what I wanted to do with my life <laughs> which is why I said we're gonna up the ante a little bit okay yippee yep frickity okay so in March we need to get our physical TBR from 67 down to 64 and we have to read the two towers I don't want to but I gotta why did you do this to yourself? Uh, that's gonna be it for me today for the TBR takedown of the weird. Um, let me know if you like adding in the current TBR or if it's just way too confusing for you. Um, I'm willing to take it back out. As I said, it was like a last minute decision to kind of add it in. Um, I can track it for myself and not share it with you guys if it's too complicated and too much going on on the screen. I figured, you know, might as well share all of the things with you because that's you know, what I'm here for. If you made it this far in the video and you have enjoyed my pain, leave a emoji in the comments down below so that I know that you made it here. That is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, book, and planner related content a couple of times a week. If you don't want to miss anything I have going on in the future, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell down below. And until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye!